Okay? So, uh, I'm going to triple your rate of success right now. Uh, what rate of success? Triple it. How many of y'all ever call the paper looking for deals? How many of y'all are looking for deals? Okay? So let's say you're talking to somebody looking for a deal, and you say, hey, uh, you're the bank, you're a landlord, you're an owner, a realtor, I want to buy your house. Uh, they say, well, it's worth 100 I want 99999 You negotiate with them, they say, I want 99999 Can't get a deal, what do you do? Hang up, there, there's not a deal. Go to the next one, correct? Write this down. Not my system. You're just starting out. What are the three things you need for your business? Buyers, sellers, and money. So guess what everybody you talk to now, guess what you're going to ask them for? Oh, are you a seller? No, nope. I want 100 grand for my house, it's worth 100 grand. Are they a seller? No. Guess what you ask them then? Hey, they ever buy any property? Oh, yeah, I'm an investor. I'm a realtor. I got buyer people buying. Look for apartment buildings, duplexes. I got a, a slumlord looking for crack houses. You know, they might say no. They might say yes. Guess where they go? Your buyers list. By the way, how many buyers do you need on your buyers list to make a fortune? In Nashville, Tennessee, three buyers bought ninety percent of all the deals I found. One guy, Bob Miller, uh, bought seventy percent. How many real buyers you need? One. I have a website. We found a European buyer with $100 million in cash in euros, which is $150 million in U.S. dollars. How many buyers do you need? I mean, get more than one, but you don't need 50 or 100, right? There's people in this room I know that have bought more than 50 properties, right? And if you give them deals, they'll buy them from you. They'll buy five from you, 10, 12, 8, 3, I don't know. But you weren't buyers with us. So now every time you talk to someone, you ask them, are they selling or are they what? What kind of property? Put them in your database, uh, fact sheet, uh, email, whatever. So when you find your next deal, you push a button, boom, it goes out to them. Number three, you're calling uh, landlords, <coughs> realtors, other investors looking for deals. And they say, you know, nothing for sale. I'm not buying anything right now. I've been in the business 30 years. I've, I've done my deals. I'm kind of tired. Guess what you ask them? It's money. What do you need more of? Say, look, what do you do with all the money you made? Let's go to lunch. Let's talk. And uh, say, look, if I ever find a deal that's a really good deal, would you want to participate? Or maybe make a, a loan. Don't let all the banks make the money. And guess what? Some, not everybody, those people will say. Okay. Hey, you find a deal? Sure. I've got a fat IRA, a fat pension plan. Uh, you know, I've got 20 properties. I sold them. My sister just didn't exchange. She's got a 300 grand she's got to spend. So from this moment forward, everyone you talk to, what are three things you ask them? Are you selling? Are you buying? Do you have any money?